This is Casey with Bass World Outdoors, and today we're fishing a lake, and we just got hammered by an inch and a half of rain last night, and the level's rising. <clears throat> Man, that fish just absolutely hammered that jig through that grass master up there and that current and he must have been just waiting to eat you know, I got some really fast current come along here and there's pockets but they're not real deep so I'm just casting up in front of me and letting that jig kind of come down with the current nice healthy fish just throttled that you can see that along there those pockets but if you get up there they're not very deep Grab that Ocho. Man, that was a nice fish there. Where'd he go? Man, that was a big fish. Oh, that might be him. <clears throat> I had that follow-up bait. I had that follow-up bait ready and I saw this fish swim by and I threw that ocho in front of it. I didn't see where it went, but man, that fish saw where my bait was. Went there, just absolutely hammered it. Fish number two, another nice healthy river fish. Here's a quick look at my follow-up bait, and it's a big ocho stick bait. But those fish can't resist it. When you see them by the boat and they swim off, you just cast it out in front and let it fall, and watch your line to start moving. Mm, look at that fish. Oh, look at that. Mm, that was just basically swimming that jig with that current right along the current break. And I'll show you real quick. You can see the current coming by here. It's about four feet deep right off the edge. There's a little bit of water back in here, but you can't really fish it that efficiently. I'm just working that jig with the current kind of fast and those fish are feeding if they're out here. That thing just snuck out and grabbed it. It's got that Grassmaster jig. I got a 3A ounce with a chunk on the back. 40 pound braid, that FMJ full metal jacket jig rod, the new seven foot three model, the P5 destroyer line from Mega Bass. 7.1 to 2 that you eat reel from Daiwa. And right now the fishing is good in this high fast water. Okay, I saw a nice bass. I saw that nice bass swimming right along that grass edge where the current's rolling. This current is loaded with fish. Another one, I saw that one, it was swimming about four to five feet deep on that grass line with the current rolling. And I was down current, so it was real easy to hit spot lock. And that Aldrex Quest, I mean, it's, look at this, river's rolling and just holding us perfect. Let me cast that jig past the fish and let it bounce down the current with the current. That fish thought he went down and drilled it. Oh, 
another fish. We never moved because we had that spot lock holding us in this current. Back to back casts. Unbelievable how good that Ultrex Quest is. Not only in the thick, weedy stuff, but holding out in the big waves and holding in the strong current. Boat's not even moving. There, the current is ripping along there and I don't see much. So I started pitching that arsenal flipping weight up into the rice and cattails. And this fish here was out of the current, just sitting on that edge waiting for something to come by. For my punch setup today, I got that Levante Ackless, the 65 pound braid power pro flipping hook arsenal tungsten flipping weight and then arsenal fishing assault bug and i'm just burying that hook in there and it's streamlined and goes right through that stuff mm. that fish swam up and grabbed that jig dang these current fish are so strong. If you get a lot of rain and you got some small rivers that are flowing into your lakes, run up there, throw some jigs, punch rigs, ochos, frogs, mix it up, see what the fish are doing that day. But if you find current, you're gonna find bass. If you like my content, please hit subscribe, hit the like button, and as always, below my video is a description with all the links to all the gear I use today takes you right to the page to buy it. It helps me out. It doesn't cost you any extra. It lets me keep putting these videos out. I appreciate it. Good luck on the water and see you next time.